Hello everyone, today we have new video review and this time we will check fresh release from Special Hobby. This is a new kit which copies Casa C212-100 in 70 second scale. As you can see that's a transport aircraft and now we have a chance to replicate it in quite small size. And this release will be available quite soon, so we're gonna check it closer. Here you can see comparison with my hand, it's not that big box, but it can be explained with the scale of this kit. Box art is quite nice. Here you can see three countries, there are three marking options which are included into this kit. Here we have some information about the kit, that it's made in Czech Republic of course. And here are several safety devices and QR code for the product page. So if you want you can visit it as well. This is a top opening box and here is what we have inside, so assembly manual is on the top and then we have all parts packed into the same plastic bag. Of course we will start with assembly manual, as you can see here it features history note in Czech and English, then of course there is a parts map and note how many parts won't be used in this kit, so it hints that there will be another version of this aircraft. And then we have assembly process which starts from the fuselage of course, we continue with cockpit, uh, joint fuselage halves, then we assemble wings, tail segment and here we have marking options for several uh, aviation um, aircraft. So as you can see here we have, what is it, it is Spanish aircraft and this one is Chilean army and here you can see the third one is Colombian Navy which looks quite interesting. I would say I would opt out for the camouflaged option but of course it is up to you which one you would like to see on your model. And here you can see some other kits which are available from the same manufacturer in 70 second scale as you can see the choice is quite wide so it will be up to you if you would like to get something else. Of course it is better to order several kits from the same eShop in order to get let's say more efficient or cleverly priced shipping. So I'm opening the plastic bag with all parts and here we have the first small plastic bag with decals sheet. Of course decals, oh no not of course, uh, decals are printed in Edward surprisingly and here you can see them closer. So here we have all necessary symbols, also we have decals for the dashboards and some stencils as well, even though this is a 70 second scale aircraft. Printing quality of course is quite nice, it's an Edward decal sheet and I'm quite surprised that not tech mod was working on it. Next we have small plastic bag with transparent parts, there are two sprues with clear parts, here you can see them. Of course these ones will be used for the windows in the fuselage. And here you can see some parts for the frontal section of the aircraft. Molding quality is really nice, but you have to cut masks by yourself because masks are not included. And all those parts will have to be masks because otherwise paint finish won't be that impressive. Then we have plastic sprues molded out of grey plastic. And here you can see the first one. Just give me a second, I will zoom out. So here is the first one with fuselage halves. Note that here we have slightly cut off uh, nose segment because it can be replaced with a different part which you will see further in the video review and all doors are separate here you can see the swarge sections which can be also rendered separate I guess if modeler would like to and overall molding quality is really nice I can see this nice surface detail and I can even zoom in camera so that you can see it closer. These are recessed panel lines and they look really nice. So some nice painting and pre-shading will make them look even better. Here you can see special slots for the tail wings and now let's flip it over. Inside we have position elements and those pins will help you with alignment and note the tail section also features a special angle which will also help you with alignment. And there is a top section cut out which will be used for wings of course. Next we have another grey plastic sprue. Here we have different parts for tail wings of course. These are nose segment parts. And here we have different doors for the aircraft. So as I said before, 
some others might opt out for the version with open doors even though there is not that much interior in this kit. Uh, only cockpit will be reproduced and here on this screw you can see some parts for the cockpit. So for example here we have dashboards, seats, here we have the rear wall, some handles, uh, wheels are molded as two-piece assembly as you can see here but there are also resin wheels available which we will check in the separate video review so if you would like to get them stay tuned and here we can see another plastic sprue this one is quite full of different parts but don't forget that oh, let's say 60% of those won't be used in this particular version they will go into your spare parts box Otherwise, molding quality is still nice. Here you can see some pilot seats and let's flip it over. Inside, all parts which are divided into two halves, they have position pins inside, so no worries about this. And here we have last gray plastic sprue. This one is dedicated to wings, of course. Wings should be assembled out of <coughs> three parts. All mechanization elements are pre-molded, so you won't be able to drop them on your aircraft and here you can see surface details so of course we have recess panel lights, different hatches, everything carefully replicated and I really like how control surfaces are replicated they will create impressive note that you have to add some pushers here which are molded separately because of course you can't reproduce them as a single piece part and inside I don't see actually there are several position elements for example here you can see them so it should be easy to align these parts together and as you remember Fizovich halves had special cut out for the wing so you just insert it there and you're ready to go. So that's all for this video review uh, and as usual I will be happy to hear your opinion here in the comment section below. If you like this video press the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can get all fresh video reviews on time. Don't forget that we also have Facebook group so you can like it as well. Thank you for watching once again and I will see you in the next video review. Bye bye.